Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing an unboxing of a Gemini jet that I got from a diecast airplane shop. I'm so excited about this one and next Wednesday is going to be the next plane I got from diecast airplane shop along with this one, but I'll only do one for this video's sake. Um, so the only thing I'd like to say before I start is that I'm doing like a new challenge. If you, all you have to do to like enter in this challenge is, ch is uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video and then say the answer to the joke below in the comments. The first person to get it right wins a uh, shout out in my next video. All right, the question is, where does a mountain climber keep his plane? All right, in case you didn't hear that, that is where does a mountain climber keep his plane? So uh, if you just say that in the comments, like and subscribe, you can be entered into this contest for a shout out next video. Let's get right on with the unboxing. So now starting here with the box, uh, this is what Diecast Airplane Shop sent this in for me. It came with bubble wrap, but I took this plane out because the other plane's in there and I don't want to spoil it for you. I got the Garuda Indonesia A330-900. Let me get all this stuff cleaned out of the way and then I'll start with the unboxing. All right, so as you can see, I got the Garuda Indonesia A330-900 uh, in the AO Pakai Masker. I think I said that right. I'm really not sure. I hope I didn't say that wrong. But as you can see, this plane has a mask on it, so you can kind of guess what my next plane is going to be next unboxing. But uh, yeah, this is one of the planes I got. I'm going to start with the smaller one, then go to the bigger one. One more clue for you next video. All right, so um, now let's just take a look at the box. It's a standard Gemini Jets box here. We have the decal of the plane. There says Garuda Indonesia, the logo of the airline. Gemini Jets up here and made for collectors by collectors. On the sides of the box, we have another decal of the aircraft. We have a, an adult collectible model, another decal, and then one 400 scale diecast model. If we look inside, you can see all this information Gemini Jets put there for us and the plane on the bottom. So now let's open it up. So it comes in like this blue and clear packaging like most Gemini Jets come in. Uh, this is the biggest plane I've seen shoved into a box like this. Um, I know that they do this so like their 737s have these boxes, uh, they're, you know, there's even their 767s, but the A330 really looks kind of crunched in there. It's even, you know, the sides of the box you can see carvers out. So um, I'm surprised they shoved it in here, but now opening the box, have one of these uh, paint protectors, and then if you pull this out, here's the actual aircraft. So now I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned out of the way and I'll continue on with the video. So now just looking at the aircraft, first impressions, uh, it's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be when they took the picture of the plane because uh, Gemini Jets has like a lighting where it makes the plane look very light. Same with the next plane I'm doing, but uh, it looks a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, like the blues and everything. So uh, I like it. It looks very nice though. And uh, just first impressions, it looks like a very nice model. So now I'm going to get into more of the details. So now looking at the front of the aircraft, we can see the actual uh, mask on the plane. That's why I got this plane. I kind of wanted like a, a remembrance of 2020, something on my model airport that kind of signifies back to 2020 with uh, no planes flying and everything. So there we have the mask on the front of the plane. If I move it forward, there you can see it says AO Pakai Masker. Again, I really hope I'm saying that right. As we move it forward, there's windows. We got a door on the front. There's another door there. And then the Garuda Indonesia logo with the words Garuda Indonesia. And then we have the engine, the wheels, and then some more windows there. As we scroll down, we have an uh, emergency exit door. And then if we keep on moving down there, we have the winglets. That's what it is. We have the winglets on the end of the wings there, um, blue winglets. And then as we go down, there we have some more windows. Let me get it focused. There we go. The registration is PK-GHG. That's the registration for the aircraft. And then we have one more emergency exit door on the back. So now let's move focus on the tail. So now moving on to the tail, we have the, uh, the Garuda Indonesia like blues mixed in there. And that's really all for the tail. It's not a whole lot. We got some dark blues on the top, some light blues on the side, a left, and then like a in the middle on the right. Um, and then it gets way lighter like down there. So we got some more light blues down there. Um, so we can see the elevators. So now I'm gonna move on to the top of the plane. So here on the top of the plane, we have uh, the, you can see the Garuda Indonesia logo. You can see the engines. You can see the registration on the end of the wing, which is PK-GHG. And then we have the mask on the front of the plane. This plane also has a Wi-Fi hub and one, two, three antennas. So there on the right wing, we have the registration again, PK-GHG. On the front of the plane, you can see the mask. And on the back of the plane, we have probably the lightest color on the plane besides white, which is that like turquoise color almost. Right next to that, I'm gonna zoom in. 
What would a Gemini Jets plane be without the Gemini Jets logo? The gear looks very nice. There was no gear missing, no antennas missing, which is very good. But uh, that also foreshadows to next video. But um, there's the front nose gear. And then that's it for the bottom. Now looking straight on uh, at the plane, you can see the engines are very detailed and nice this time. They almost look like they're actual holes in there, which is very nice. Uh, you can see the gear and then the mask on the front of the plane once again. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you like and subscribe, you can enter the challenge for, again, the question is, where does a mountain climber put his plane? Uh, if you say the answer in the comments and you're the first one, you will get a shout out in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.